what we have been given over the past several decades is a more and more rigorously defined evidence-based practice with systematic reviews that lean particularly on the degree to which the evidence has internal validity. That means how well controlled were the experiments that led to the evidence. But when we take that evidence <clears throat> into practice, we find very often that it applies in some settings but not others. And the variability in applicability or generalizability is a matter of external validity rather than internal validity. And that's what we need to represent more if we want the, the, the directories of evidence to be credible for practitioners and policymakers. When we find problems of dissemination, they're very often problems of acceptance, believability by practitioners and policymakers of the evidence they're given. And if they don't find it credible, believable, applicable to their setting, they're going to either reject it or adapt it. And when they adapt it, we need to evaluate their adaptations. That's, pr that's producing practice-based evidence. People who can speak the language of, know the culture of, relate to the population at the same time that they can understand the evidence that we're trying to bring to bear in a community. And they, so they, they get caught at where the evidence comes face to face with the realities of the community that aren't the same realities that applied where the evidence was generated in the first place. Uh, <clears throat> the street level bureaucrat is faced with the limitations, the budgetary limitations and the circumstances of the local community. So they, they have a lot of difficulties with policies that were produced far away. <clears throat> and so they adapt the programs and the policies uh, first, they adapt the programs to the policies, uh, but then they have to adapt them again as they take them out into the community. We need more evidence about what happens in that stream of, of adaptation. And I don't know that this is something that we can ask of the scientists themselves. They, they're under a different set of criteria about excellence of the science. Uh, but we do have to use their product, which gets developed as evidence-based practices. We need to take that into the field with the understanding that it'll have to be adapted in most settings. There's also a tendency, I think, for the developers of evidence to be protective of it. And that works very well with a medical intervention because you're dealing there with uh, an injection or consumption of a product in a biological organism that is fairly homogeneous across the species. But it, when you get into social interventions, interventions on environments, interventions on health behavior in populations, you're dealing with far more variability. And therefore, adaptation is not only reasonable, it's, it's necessary. We don't need to set up oppositional relationships between the serious scientific researchers and the people who are trying to adapt the evidence that they generate to different situations and programs and policies. So we have to approach them as complementary.